We flood communities with so many guns that it is easier for a teenager to buy a Glock than get his hands on a computer or even a book. And then we tell the police, you're a social worker. You're the parent. You're the teacher. You're the drug counselor. We tell them to keep those neighborhoods in check at all costs and do so without causing any political blowback or inconvenience. Don't make a mistake that might disturb our own peace of mind. And then we feign surprise when periodically the tensions boil over. We know those things to be true. They've been true for a long time. We know it. Police, you know it. Protesters, you know it. You know how dangerous some of the communities where these police officers serve are. And you pretend as if there's no context. These things we know to be true. And if we cannot even talk about these things, if we cannot talk honestly and openly, not just in the comfort of our own circles, but with those who look different than us or bring a different perspective, then we will never break this dangerous cycle. In the end, it's not about finding policies that work. It's about forging consensus and fighting cynicism and finding the will to make change. All right, so uh, if you want to see the full uh, memorial for the slain Dallas police officers, uh, the five cops that were killed in the shooting last week, um, uh, Barack Obama, George Bush, Senator Cornyn, the Dallas mayor and the Dallas police officer, uh, Dallas police chief all spoke. Uh, it's available at the Alternate Mox News YouTube page in full. It's live now. It's about an hour long if you want to see that. Um, and I just want to say, you know, I got I to gotta take this opportunity. I'm going to say this over and over again. I hope you guys put up with me. Now is the time, okay? Over and over again, these people, Barack Obama, Vice President Biden, George Bush, okay? Number one, they want to talk about how much they love the cops, okay? They're using the cops as cannon fodder. Okay, they want to talk about racial hatred and racial injustice. Okay, they don't care about hatred or injustice. They certainly don't care about injustice. The drug war is a racist war on the American people. Okay, Bernie Sanders. You know, I saw Chuck D on television this morning, and he didn't say a damn word about the drug war. The drug war is a racist war. They keep saying, oh, well, why do blacks get arrested so much more? The drug war. Bernie Sanders, over and over again, said white people and black people smoke marijuana in the same percentages. And yet black people are three times more likely to be arrested for smoking marijuana. Okay, it's a racist war. It was designed that way. Nixon made it clear. Do we got to go back to the Nixon tapes? Because I will. I'll do that again. And this is the deal. Anyone of a certain intellectual level knows, number one, the drug war is a complete and utter failure. A complete and utter waste of resources and a complete and utter racist police state. And it's the gateway. It's what has allowed an epidemic of heroin, an epidemic of opioid abuse, an epidemic of opioid overdoses in this country. 
and you people say, oh, if we can just save one child's life, you would save a thousand child's life tomorrow if you ended the drug war today. If you say, we're not going to persecute our children because they got caught with a couple grams of weed. We're not going to ruin their lives. You people who talk about racial injustice or the drug war is institutionalized racism. Okay, how do we heal this rift between the police and the community? It's simple. And the bullshit drug war and the complete and utter failure of a drug war and the war on our children and the war on the people in the poorest neighborhoods or at least lessen it by ending the drug war you take so much money away from the unscrupulous people from the people that are making money hand and fist who don't really care about the lives they ruin. Yes, I'm talking about the police. Because it won't happen because 50% of police funding is to fight the drug war. And it won't happen because it would destroy the pharmaceutical industry in this country. Because a lot of people would take the self-medicating over going to the witch doctors who now prescribe medicines that get you addicted prescribed medicines you have to take for the rest of your life because they get kickbacks from the pharmaceutical not because it's going to do anything good for you but because the pharmaceutical companies paid for their vacation made a payment on their Porsche or their multi-million dollar home this is why they don't end the drug war not because it's some kind of a success. We all know the drug war is a complete failure. Not because it's fair in any way, because anybody who has enough money to hire a proper lawyer is never going to have problems with the drug war, with personal possession of whatever drugs they want to have. Never! You have the money to hire a proper lawyer, it's a done deal. That's all. It's utter bullshit. They're killing people. The problem is, what really got me frustrated is that all these talking heads, all these politicals, all these politicians, the president, the cops, they all know the drug war is a failure and they don't say one word about it. You cops say, oh, we just want to get home to our families at night. If you don't speak out against the failed drug war, you're liars. You don't really care about getting home to your families at night because you're willing to risk your brother's lives on a bullshit failed system This inherently racist. Keep talking about, oh, the black population in prison. Why are there drugs? Drugs that they consume at the same level of white people. Racist, institutionalized racism. Obama doesn't say one word about it. You black people should fucking hate Obama. You should be disgusted by his image. You should spit on it when you see it. He's done nothing. Nothing to help the black community. And this war on them. And he stands up there and acts like he cares so fucking much. If we can just save one child. My ass. Wipe your fucking face with my ass, you piece of garbage Obama. Full of shit. All you cops. Every black person out here saying, we have to end the injustice. If you're not saying end the drug war, you're lying. 
You don't really care about ending the injustice. You don't really care about ending the institutionalized racism. You cops don't care about your brothers in blue. You don't care about getting home to your families. That's not your top priority. Your top priority is having money and, and power to go after whoever you want. Because you smelled marijuana. Oh, I smell marijuana on you. You're fucked now. You don't ever fucking talk off to me. I'm going to fuck your life now. Because I can. Take that power away. Obama, if you really care about racism, about healing the rift between police and the communities they're supposed to be serving, end the drug war now. End it before you leave office. Do it. Do it. Otherwise, you're nothing. You're garbage. You deserve to be in prison. Regardless if you do it or not, you deserve to be in prison. That's the fact. But you've done nothing for black people. You've done nothing for cops. You've done nothing for our community. There's nothing more we want than cops we can respect. If you continue the lie that you should be at war with the general public simply because they want to use a substance that's not approved by the FDA, fuck you. Legalize it and it'll all be approved. It's just a load of bullshit. All these people that say they want to fix the injustice, they don't care. All these people, Bush, Obama, they're using you cops as cannon fodder in their wars. First in Iraq, then you come home and you get a job as a police officer, and then they send you into another bullshit war on the American people. And you need to stand up, and you need to speak out. You need to grow a fucking pair of balls. Quit acting like chicken shit motherfuckers who want to shoot at their fucking shadows. Grow a set of balls and tell the fucking truth. I know you cops are professional paid liars. Tell the fucking truth. The drug war is a failure. Yeah, Trump, you're going to be the police president. The secure. We're going to make America safe. We don't need you to make America safe. We need you to make America free. Make America free. Obama, do it. Give us our freedom back. I don't mean to yell at you guys. I'm sorry. I just... It's so obvious and no one talks about it. It's so obvious and no one talks about it. All these talking heads, how are we going to fix this? They know. They know. Bernie Sanders said it over and over again. This is institutionalized racism. He said it over and over and over in 2016. They all know. And they go, oh, how are we going to fix this? They're all full of shit. Don Lemon, every single one of you prostitutes on CNN, Don Lemon, you don't give a fuck about, about black people. You don't give half a fuck about black people. All you people on MSNBC, oh, we're the, we're the liberals, we're the bleeding hearts, we're here for you. You don't give a fuck about black people, racial injustice, or institutionalized racism. Because you won't even state the most obvious shit. You just stand up there and lie. How are we going to fix this? My name's Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thanks for tuning in. Stay cool. One of these days, this drug war is going to end. But back to the war on drugs. How did it come about? Well, author Dan Baum this week revealed a 1994 quote from former Nixon policy advisor John Ehrlichman, who told him the Nixon White House had two enemies, the anti-war left and black people. By getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana 
and blacks with heroin and then criminalizing both heavily, we could disrupt those communities. We could arrest their leaders, raid their homes and vilify them night after night on the evening news. Did we know we were lying about the drugs? Of course we did.